It's Professor Adam. Let's talk about acids and bases. In chemistry, we are often faced with somewhat contradictory or divergent trends. One example is the water solubility of various halide salts. Silver fluoride, for example, is much more soluble than silver chloride, with solubility decreasing going down the group. Mercury halide salts also follow this trend, but lithium salts have the opposite trend, with lithium fluoride having very low water solubility. Other diverging trends are different modes of ligand bonding and exchange kinetics. How do we account for these trends? To explain these trends, Pearson described his theory of hard and soft acids and bases. A soft acid or base is one which can be easily polarized, whereas a hard acid or base is non-polarizable. Chemical species are said to be polarizable if their electron clouds can be distorted by other chemical species. Acid-base interactions can also be classified using the hard-soft distinction. Generally, like attracts like, as hard-hard and soft-soft interactions are preferred over hard-soft. If we take our previous example of BF3 and ammonia, both are classified as strong. Ammonia is a strong Lewis base due to the electron donation from the hydrogens, and BF3 is a strong Lewis acid due to its electron deficiency caused by the electron-withdrawing fluorine groups. They then combine to form a strong acid-base adduct. Soft Lewis acids usually have high relative electronegativity for metals, large radii and low charge of plus one or plus two. They usually occupy the bottom right. What? Soft Lewis acids usually have high relative electronegativity for metals, large radii and low charge of plus one or plus two. They mostly occupy the bottom right of the d-block. Hard Lewis acids are generally the opposite, with low electronegativity, small radii and high charges. Due to the trends in size and electronegativity in the periodic table, the hard soft acid base classes lie in distinct regions of the table. This helps us to remember them. But remember, the oxidation state of metals can change hardness. Soft Lewis bases usually have low relative electronegativity for non-metals and large radii. Hard Lewis bases are generally the opposite, with low electronegativity and small radii. Due to trends in size and electronegativity in the p-block, each type lies in a distinct region. This helps us to remember them. The origin of hard soft acid base theory was purely empirical, based on observations of stability constants. It can, however, be explained if we consider electronegativities. Soft acids and soft bases have similar values. This is optimal for strong covalent bonding. Conversely, hard acids and hard bases have a large difference in their electronegativities that is optimal for ionic bonding. There is nothing preventing an acid or a base from being both hard or soft and strong or weak. The reaction to form phenyl lithium does not make much sense if we think that both the product and the reactant are soft hard combinations, until we consider that the butyl chain is a better bronsted lowry base than phenyl. This means that whilst a hard soft compound is still formed, a more favorable pairing is found between bromine and the butyl chain.